G'day and welcome. This is 4.3 nesting importing .csv files. We're looking at importing CSV files that are created in other applications, so a spreadsheet or a different graphics package or something, and importing those into BSC Nest to create your articles and then to nest all the parts for your job. It's a great process. It can save you heaps of time once it's all set up. Okay, let's give this a go. So you're going to boot up your uh, BSC suite. It'll come into your uh, CAD CAM window. You want to going to boot over to your nesting window and we're going to set these import functions by aligning that to the CSV that we've created in our cut list application. So first off, uh, you know, quick look at that. Um, here we've got our nesting projects, articles. We've got a uh, sheet set up, wood types or material types and settings. So first we're going to go into the settings and then we'll have a look at setting some of this other stuff. So um, look, it mightn't hurt to do a bit of maintenance and just clean up those existing parts and get rid of them. That's always a good thing to do. And then we're going to set this import stuff. So if you can open up that one, and we're going to use the import project lines from CSV. Okay, so when you click on this one here, it'll open up this little bit here. So you can see I've currently got this one loaded here. Let's just have a look at that. So we'll go to our rules setting and how, look at how those import rules are working. So what you come up with is a little screen like this. Uh, we've got a little area up here that enables us to do some operations with our list. Have a look at it here. Um, bring that data in and then link that data up to the various uh, nesting uh, values. So let's open a file. Uh, this is the one I've been using. Um, it's only a single section. We're only going to be importing articles uh, to a project. Okay, so we'll open that one up and have a look at it. All right, there we go. So that's got us something. Let's have a look. Uh, we'll link that to our existing CSV file. So this is the CSV file I created uh, out of SketchUp using the Open Cut List application. That's the one I'm going to be working with. So select that and go open. And that'll give you a little sample here. Now this is a comma separated file. So click on that one there and make sure we've got CSV with headings because that's what I'm looking at here. Uh, date format if you like. Uh, obviously we're, we're all good with that because that's how our setup is. Then what you do is go back up to the top here and go create fields from CSV, which gives us these import fields down here from our CSV file. So it's looking at the first row of your CSV file and converting every separated value. So every time you've got a comma, you get a new field down the edge here. Then what we want to do is connect to that CSV data and make sure that's working okay. So you can see down here, I've got uh, this data here in this uh, value common column, pardon me, that's come from my CSV file. And then what I'm going to do is link these values here to the correct spot over in this area here. So this is the fields in this column here that the BSE Nest software is looking for when it opens up that CSV. So what I need to do is in here where it says formula, okay, link that to my data that's coming in here. So the quantity to do over here is in line number three. Okay, so that's my quantity. I'm gonna put this here to uh, shift dollar three. Oop and hit enter, and that will link this value here to this value here, so that when I'm importing that data, I'm getting the right values from the CSV file into the BSE Nest article, okay? You can see when that's working, as I flick through here, it should bring up the new values, okay? So you can have uh, all sorts of things in here, and you can just link these back to here. Now, I haven't got uh, a customer name. Um, I've set that to $1.12 uh, and I could have a, a customer name in there but it's not coming in at the moment. Uh, again, job order. Again, it's just a number. Um, that's the item number. Uh, the name of the parts, kicker face description, the same. Critical ones, length, width, thickness and the material type. Uh, whether or not it's got a grain, so it should be either one or zero. Um, depending on your uh, material import. So we could link that one up to the uh, output in here. Label image, well, we're not doing labels. Uh, notes, folder description, if you leave that as just uh, what's in there now, that will default to the same folder that your CSV is in. So we just keep everything in the one folder, our CSV and our programs, and it'll work that out all fine. So that's why we've got element current folder. Program name, 
Okay, so this is the program name that's coming out of the CSV, which is the tags that we set up back over in the open cut list uh, rotation step and then any other parameters that are in there. Okay, so once you've got that set up, you can save that. Okay, so I've saved the file, the little asterisk has gone away. Then you can go back to your general settings and make sure that your import project lines is using that file that we've just created. Okay, so you've got to use your import rules that you've just created. Don't leave it on default or multi-section. Go to the one that you actually want and go open. And okay, we should be good to go now. So if you go up to your top project icon here, create a new project and then go import. Find your CSV file and so long as it follows that same format there uh, and you've got everything in the right place, so you've got your B solid programs in the same folder as the CSV that you're importing, this should uh, slowly but surely trundle through and come up with your articles there ready for nesting and then you can just hit the, okay so there's my articles that it's imported, so that's the name, quantity, material, size and the description there. I can process that like I normally would. Give it a name, 3D Kitchen. Not the most fantastic name ever, but it'll do us. Process that. And so long as every uh, one of these different programs is in the right spot, it's going to come up with our finished nest. So it looks easy. And if everything's set up properly, that sure is easy. So I'll give that a couple more seconds and we'll just confirm that the results are what we're expecting. Uh, and then we don't have any errors in there and we should be all good to go. Seems to be traveling fairly slowly. Okay, oops, we've got a bit of an error. Well, warning. No, that's okay, some of the labels don't fit, never mind. Okay, uh, oh, okay, the labels, are, so this has got these V-groove doors, which is a, um, a program that we've created is just telling us that the routing is going to cut through where the labels are going on these orange ones. So there's all our parts with all the machining as per the programs that were originally created. All right, let's just have a quick recap on what we've been going through there with the importing the CSV files. We um, start off by creating a CSV file in a different application. Uh, in our case, we're using SketchUp, but you can use a lot of other things. And you create some programs which align to the names of the uh, parts in that CSV file, and we put those all in the one folder. Uh, we need to make sure that when we create that CSV file, it contains the data required for each of the articles for nesting. So we create that with the column headings that align with the data that we want to import. Then uh, we uh, open up our BSE and go to the project lines setup uh, and link that up by opening the CSV file that we've created. Import the fields, so I think it's create fields from the CSV file and connect the data in the CSV file to the BSE application and then we can run a check on the data. Once we know that that data is coming in in a, in, a, a, um, in a format that we're happy with, we can then go back to the nesting application, uh, create a new project, import that CSV file and that should show up with all the articles that we need for processing our job. You can then nest that and run it on your machine like you normally would. Okay, thanks for joining us today and enjoy your machining.